Okay, this chapter is about fractions, and we will start out with some introductory concepts and terminology, and then of course we will get into the mathematical operations that you need to be able to do with fractions. The word fraction comes from the Latin word fractio, and that's, that's a word that just means to break apart or to break into pieces, and it's related to the word fracture. And maybe you've had a broken bone, and a, a broken bone is commonly referred to as a fracture. And you might think of the fracture as the crack where the bone is broken, but the important concept is, is that it is broken into two pieces. And whenever something is broken into two or more pieces, each piece is called a fraction of the whole. And the word fraction, of course, shows up in our everyday language. You might hear someone say something like, Joe ate most of his Pop-Tart, but gave a fraction of it to Ed. So the fraction would be a part of the whole. Or you might hear someone say, the auditorium was full the first night, but only a fraction of the people returned for the second show. So the word fraction there would refer to a part of the entire audience. Now fractions can be represented with numbers, and this is what we need to be able to do to deal with them mathematically. So let's imagine a board here, and it's cut into four pieces. Each piece is called a fourth, and we have a way of writing this. Look at this, this uh, second set of pictures here. The, th this could be the same board, just looked at from a different angle, and in, and in this case, the, a piece is shaded. We say that one out of the four pieces is shaded, and we would write that as one-fourth, one over the four. And here we have two of the four pieces shaded, we would write that as two-fourths, and you can see that that's the same thing as half of the entire board. And here, three of the four pieces are shaded, we would write that as three over four, and all four of them shaded is the same thing as the entire board being shaded. So four-fourths is the same as one entire board. Now a fraction is usually written as one number over another. And we write this little bar in between them and that's called the fraction bar. And there's a number on top, or it could be a variable on top, like we have here, A over B, a variable on the top or the bottom. Or it could be an entire mathematical expression on the top or the bottom, something more complicated. It would still be a fraction, one thing over another. And in all of these cases, the, the piece on top, what we're calling A up here, the part on top is called the numerator. N-U-M-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E the numerator is the top part of the fraction. And the B in this case, what's below the fraction bar, is called the denominator. D-E-N-O-M-I-N-A-T-O-R. The denominator. The denominator tells us how many parts the thing has been divided into. And then the numerator tells us how many parts of that that the fraction represents. And so we can see that in these pictures. Here the circle is divided into three pieces and one of them is shaded. So the shaded part there is one third of the whole. We would write that as one over three. One piece, this part right here, is one out of the three or one third of the whole. Over here this rectangle has been divided into five horizontal rectangles, and three of them are shaded. So the shaded portion here is three out of the five, or three-fifths of the whole. And a few more simple, simple examples here. You can see in this first one we have three of these circles shaded out of eight, so we, we would write that as three-eighths. Over here, you might need to count. Uh, there are 12 pieces total. You can see these pieces are arranged uh, similar to the numbers on a clock. So it might be kind of easy to see that there are 12. And then shaded, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of them. So we would write that as 7 over 12. And you could read that as 7 twelfths. And over here, there are 4 shaded out of a total of 9. So that would be four-ninths. And of course, we don't have to have a picture. A lot of times, pictures or diagrams are helpful, but sometimes we just need to deal with the numbers. Like in these examples, seven of the dogs were black and 11 were brown. So there's seven 
black ones and 11 brown ones. Now that's a total of 18. So let's just take note of that. The total there is 18. So name the fraction that were black. Well, seven of them were black, so that would be seven out of a total of 18. Don't make the mistake and write seven over 11. The fraction that were brown, well, 11 of them were brown, that would be 11 out of a total of 18. In the next example, out of 28 vehicles in the parking lot, nine of them were pickup trucks. Name the fraction of the vehicles that were pickup trucks. Well, that's pretty easy. That's just nine out of the 28. So you could say nine twenty-eighths of the vehicles were pickup trucks. And then the next question is a little bit trickier. Name the fraction of the vehicles that were not pickup trucks. So in this case, we have to subtract if there were 28 total and nine of them were pickups, then all the remaining ones were not pickups. So we just do 28 minus nine. And you can probably do that in your head, but that gives us 19. So 19 of them were not pickup trucks, so the answer would be 19 28ths. That's the fraction of vehicles that were not pickups. And then one more important idea. Fractions indicate division. The fraction bar is commonly used to indicate division. And when you get into algebra class, this little fraction bar there is a much more common way of representing division than this division symbol that we learn in elementary school. Fractions are a very common notation for indicating division. So this fraction here, 1 over 4, means 1 divided by 4. That fraction bar means divided by, and it can be read that way. When you see this fraction, if you were reading it out loud or just reading it mentally, you could read it as 1 fourth or 1 over 4 or 1 divided by 4. And those all basically mean the same thing. They all mean division. One thing, one, one has been divided into four pieces. This thing has been divided into four pieces and we have one of them. But it's been divided into four pieces. And because fractions inherently deal with something that has been divided up, divided up into pieces, fractions are commonly used to indicate division mathematically.